In La Cañada, Flint Ridge, 12 miles northeast of downtown Los Angeles, 70 foot flames are scorching hillsides above homes. A massive smoke bloom can be seen for miles. Right now, it's, it's pretty much out of control. It's running where it wants to run. 900 homes are under voluntary evacuation orders, including Bill Johnson's. How close have the flames gotten to your house, would you say, Bill? Well, uh, if I had marshmallows, I could probably make some s'mores. But because of the air support, he's not leaving. You see how accurate these guys are at dropping that? Wow. They're so good. This is what firefighters have to contend with. Superheated flames burning through bone dry brush. Triple digit temperatures and low humidity make it even more difficult for firefighters to gain the upper hand. The flames that last night exploded in the affluent coastal community of Rancho Palos Verdes have now calmed. The 1500 evacuees allowed home. It was the air assault that made the difference. Only 230 acres burned. We had helicopters that were either dropping 300, 400, or 1,000 gallons in each drop. That was critical for getting that containment. Miraculously, only an outbuilding and a gazebo were destroyed. Six homes sustained minor damage. Back in La Cañada, where no homes have burned, Susan and Arnold Graham are packed up and ready to go. If it takes a run up this canyon, it'll come right over and jump quite a distance if the wind blows particularly. Now, the good news is that high winds that could push these flames into the neighborhoods are not in the forecast. And it's predicted this weekend that temperatures should drop slightly. The bad news is that the dry conditions are going to persist. Harry. Sandra Hughes in Southern California tonight. Thank you.